ICT Integration Workshop 4.2 Presentation Tools and we're talking about PowerPoint. So first thing I'm going to do is get out of the presentation mode and actually tell you about PowerPoint. So I'm doing everything in PowerPoint to start off with um, but I want to talk about a narrated PowerPoint. Now a normal PowerPoint is exactly the same as what I've done here. I'm actually working through slide by slide. However, I've recorded this as a video. You're doing uh, So I'm doing this as recording screen. If you wish to record your voice onto your PowerPoint, there's a really easy way of doing it. Now on a Mac, it's pretty much the same as on a PC. On a PC, all you need to do is go record slideshow. But you start from the beginning. So actually recording the slideshow. On a Mac, same deal. If I go to slideshow, I can go record slideshow. Or up here, I can go uh, record slideshow there. On the older version of PC, uh, or old, older version of, wi of Windows, it used to say record, narrate, uh, re record narrated slide or narrate PowerPoint. Um, and what it does is record your sound to each slide. So as you're doing stuff, it will um, record into it. So if I, if I, so if, uh, the other way of doing it though is you, you may just wish to add an audio to one particular slide. So in this case, on a PC, you just go insert audio and then record audio. On here, I can go insert audio and record audio there, or up the top, insert audio and record audio. So it's the same, pretty much the same whether it's a PC or a Mac. Um, the br brilliant thing about this is when you recorded it, you can then share it with students and you've got the, t the discussion you've had before. Now, if I was you, I would say, make your PowerPoint beforehand and then narrate it at home before you go to class. That means that you've actually got the thing saved completely as you want because it's easy to teach a computer or we'll talk to a computer. Okay, some people find it difficult, but the computer will listen. It doesn't interrupt apart from emails and pop-ups and stuff. All right, in the classroom, you'll talk and you'll stop and you talk and you'll stop. So that's also a good thing to record because then you get the student questions as well. But uh, if you record beforehand, you can go through and talk to the students, and then you can say, okay, if you really wanted it, here's a copy of the narrated PowerPoint. If anyone's away, you can do that too. Now, one thing you want to do, though, is when you go save, go far, save as, and I would suggest instead of recording it as a presentation, record it as a PowerPoint show. Okay, if you record it as a PowerPoint show, then the sound will be recorded, all the videos, or any, um, sorry, all the um, pictures and everything will all be recorded into the PowerPoint. You might have received an email with a little PowerPoint that played as soon as you clicked on it, it didn't go into PowerPoint, it just played it straight as a, as a slideshow. Um, that's because it's saved as a PowerPoint show. It's really handy um, and it, it means that you don't have to worry about other, the, uh, whether or not it's gonna work, whether or not you've got your, your pictures saved in the right folders. Uh, if you go and put on, you might have put something on a new, uh, copied onto a, onto a USB, put it on a new computer, hit play, and all of a sudden all your pictures are gone. So this way, yeah, it's actually gonna stop that from happening. All right, so that is PowerPoint and doing a narrated PowerPoint.